All right. Hello, welcome back. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I can't believe I have to make a video about this, but here we are. So, this is about the foam pit that was at TwitchCon a few months ago. Um, this was supposed to be like a you know gladiator type thing. You knock each other off into the foam pit, but the foam pit was too shallow. Too shallow. There's supposed to be a foam padding or some kind of cushion or spring at the bottom, which there wasn't. And it was too thin. It's not the right type of foam. The foam blocks aren't big enough, etc., etc., etc. This isn't a legit, quote, regulation foam pit. Everyone could agree that before we know all the information that we know now, right? I've heard multiple eyewitness accounts of people who are at this event, including Fit MC, for one example, who you know, is known for his fitness regimens, obviously, and he rock climbs and stuff, and he says he's had tons of experience with foam pits, and he took one look at that and knew that it wasn't safe, that it wasn't legit, that it wasn't regulation. So if someone like him or anybody who's, you know, done exercises like this where you've used one or activities, anybody could see that, right? So why can the people organizing this booth not see that? Why, why is there nobody at Twitch who cannot see this? Or anybody overhead? On the event, the turn the uh, event organizers. How how can nobody see this, and and make it right or shut it down? As soon as somebody got hurt the first time, it should have been shut down completely. It should have never even been have opened. That's the the truth. But it still was allowed to continue. Even though it was unsafe, and everybody who's even quote not an expert or wasn't even involved with setting it up knew that. Right, so someone broke their ankle, someone dislocated their knee. Other people had tons of minor injuries, and as we all well know, Adriana Cheshik broke her back in two places, had to have multiple surgeries. It's a miracle that she can walk and that she's okay, but at the time she didn't know it, and she was pregnant. So she had to terminate this pregnancy to have these surgeries. So Twitch are murderers. That's what that means. Their complacency of not dealing with the proper ordinances and steps it takes to get a safe foam pit, or once you see that this one is unsafe, canceling it, that's on you, okay? I'm not a lawyer, but I know enough to know that signing a waiver doesn't absolve you of the responsibility of complacency, okay? And, and it's one thing for people to get... Oh, I, I twisted my knee, oh, my ankles bust. I got a sprained ankle. Breaking your back in two places is a pretty big deal. Having to terminate a pregnancy is an even bigger deal. And Twitch hasn't even issued a statement about this yet. They, they're trying to completely just back away from it. And the clip where she said that she was pregnant is deleted. Hmm, yeah, what's that? You know what this is called? Censoring the truth. Hiding the truth. Hiding your responsibility of, because you're evil. So there's no getting away from this. You're murderers, and I, my call to action is to end this platform. It's time. Twitch has done enough. They've shown us enough that they don't deserve to exist anymore. This is an, it's an illegitimate company. It's not functioning properly to the point where not only is it destroying people's livelihoods with their poor ma managing of their site, they're also murdering people now. And that's not acceptable. So it's time for Twitch to close down. It's over. You had a good run. GG. Not really. You're evil. Goodbye.